The first step in following the control plan is to arrive at your scheduled shift on time and to punch in correctly. We are a team, and as with any team, we only function well when we are working together toward a common goal. One of the reasons existing customers stay with us and new customers come to us is our ability to deliver zero defect products on time. Our jobs are scheduled based on the expectation that every operator will arrive ready to work for every scheduled shift. When you need time off for a vacation or personal reasons, jobs are scheduled to reflect that absence. But when a team member is absent unexpectedly, we've lost production hours for that day which jeopardizes our ability to fulfill the commitments we've made to our customers. This puts a strain on the entire organization. So, always give as much notice as possible when you cannot be here. The E2 system you use to clock in and clock out is also used to track your time on the particular job or jobs you perform during a shift. Knowing how to punch in and account for your time is what we call batching. Properly batching is another key to your success here. Complete instructions for punching in and out and for batching are available in the orientation book located in the break room on documents called punch in slash out work instructions and time tracking. If you've not seen these documents, be sure to ask for copies. In general, never punch in or out more than 14 minutes before or after your shift without approval from your supervisor. Time tracking is something you will be required to do at the beginning and ending of the various tasks you perform throughout the day. Because time tracking instructions differ from regular jobs, batch jobs, or performing multiple jobs in a day, as well as for rework, maintenance, and other activities, it is extremely important that you be familiar with the written instructions. If, after you have reviewed the time tracking instructions, you are unclear as to how to account for any part of your shift's work, contact your supervisor.